Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbag in and this one sounds like it's got a box in it. And this one has come to me as a PR package from dpclubs.com. Uh, I have worked with them before and again, been very happy with their products. So they asked if I would like some more products to show you. And I said, yes, of course. So let's have a look and see what we got this time. So we have... Uh, oh, a packet. Oh, they look different. Ooh, something a bit different. And another diamond painting there. And then we have a box, which I'm going to turn over because it's a generic box. And it could be anything in there. So I don't want you to see what I've got just yet. So we'll look at that one last, I think. And let's have a look at this little box first. Okay, so we'll pop those over there as well. Uh, there are quite a few special offers on dpclubs.com at the moment. If you want to pop over to the website, uh, I'll leave links for everything down below as normal. Um, if you spend over $39, there is free shipping. And if you spend $30, uh, then there is 21% off. I'm not sure whether it's you've got to spend over $30, but there is certainly a banner that said 21% off. So pop over to the website, see if that offer is still on. Otherwise, I'm sure there'll be other offers on as well. Uh, obviously, it's at the time I make the video uh, that the offers are available um, or current, I should say. And uh, yeah, you'll need to just check for your country to see what uh, the shipping offers and everything are. But seems like some pretty good offers to me. Yay. OK, so they've started doing, look, these rainbow coloured pen tips and straighteners. And if I can get into it, I'm awful with containers. I don't know why. Do you think it's as I'm getting older, my fingers are getting, oh, it's sellotaped, I think. Yeah, it's sellotaped. <laughs> My fingers are getting less uh, usable, as it were. Uh, yeah, oh, there you are, look. It helps if you take the sellotape off, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but look at those. So, I have got a straightener, a single pale, blah, 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 placer, and an elbow single placer. And look, they match my rainbow scissors. So, I'm getting all posh and matching. <laughs> Oh, and that's really good. The little bands that go around the base of the uh, places to pop them into the pen have come with the little rubber bands on them and they're what's secure. And they've come in a little bag, which is brilliant because quite often they're loose and then you end up finding them all over. I mean, there's plenty in there, plenty spare in there as well. So let's get a pen out. Let's try. Oh, look, this is my sparkly flower pen. Uh, oh yeah, and actually they do match because, well, no, it doesn't match that. It matches the purple in, that, in there. I'll have to get one of my other pens, I think, for it to match a bit better. Uh, but yep, yeah, they just slot in. I'm not going to put the bands on for now. Are they going to slot in? Yep, yeah, they do. Because uh, I may be, well, I will be changing them out. I don't particularly want them on this pen. But yeah, they will just slot in. Uh, what placer size is that? That looks a large one to me. So let me have a look. And that's 10 drills. So I would say that's possibly a 13, 12, 13 straightener, which again is a lovely, nice, nice. And narrow band across there. So you'll get it in between your drills to straighten them. And again, that will just pop into there. It's a little bit tight on this one. So yeah, just pop it around and it just goes in. So, yeah, it doesn't quite match this pen. Uh, so, yeah, I think I have got a blue pen, actually. I think it will possibly go with that. Or even my pink. Maybe my pink pen might look nice. But, yeah, look at those. And then, again, I wanted to give my elbow placer a little bit of a try. So, but I just thought, oh, I've got to have them. Uh, they do do the full set of the full range of your sizes in your single placer up to I think it's a 10 placer um, but if you check on the website they do them in little sets of three or you can buy all of them at once but I just thought well these are the ones that I'm more likely to use because I don't really multi-place and um, so I definitely want to have a go with these uh, elbow ones I always use a single placer and I do like my straighteners uh, I do tend to 
particularly doing edges, butt up to edges and things. And the price of those was $4.99. And actually, coming in a little packet, uh, coming in a little box, they're quite a nice present, aren't they? You know, if you're wanting to get a diamond painter that's got everything, what about a set of metal tips that are um, rainbow coloured? And yeah, a nice little box as well, easy to wrap. And it just looks a little bit more when it's in a box, I think. They've even put the foam on the bottom, look. And it's a very useful box, you know, me and little boxes. <laughs> I'll be finding out how many drills you can get in it next. <laughs> Okay, so that's item number one. Okay, let's just clear the decks a minute to see what else we got. Oh, let's have a look at this one. Okay, because I've moved my desk around now, I've got more room. It's great. I've got this extra desk at the side of me and I've just like got room to spread out and it's just, yay. <laughs> just got to get the lighting right. That's just really annoying me at the moment. Right, so let's have a look at this one. It could be a little bit, ooh, ooh, screech, a little bit late for this year getting it done, but never say never. Okay, so, yeah, 30 by 40, wow, look at those colours. Oh my goodness me, hot pink, look, hot pink on the top, yay. So if we're not rainbow, we're hot pink. Okay, a basic tool kit, pen, boat and wax, and it is... Our lovely three witches, look at that, with the full moon in the background, yay. Okay, so I don't know whether this is the second or the third one that I've got like in this series. Uh, my daughter has pinched them and she is doing them, so that's fine. I will show you them when they are done. And I've told her, well, if she's taking them, she's got to take photographs because I do need to see them. Okay, let's just give it a quick flatten out. Let's just move that box because it's getting in my way. But look at the gorgeous and vibrant colours on this. And I just think it's one of those timeless images that uh, will come out every Halloween. I mean, you could leave it up all year. Um, there's nothing to stop you. It doesn't, well, it doesn't really scream Halloween, does it? It's only like um, putting up any other character sort of picture, really, that you'd maybe have up every, uh, all the time. I can say every year then, but <laughs> all the time. What's that that I've just found? Just found a little bit of plastics come off something. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Suddenly find uh, a random bit of plastic on your desk. It hasn't come out of this anyway. Okay, so it says it's a 30 by 40, but we'll give it a quick measure. We have 24 different colours. Uh, the key code is lovely and clear with all uh, capital letters on it, which looks great. DMC codes as well and a key code at both sides. Okay. So the actual drill field is 24 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches by uh, 34 centimetres, 13 and about 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half inches. So yeah, just your standard size for a lovely hard glue canvas. And it's a nice clear drill field. See, we've got lovely white letters on all the dark colours, so they really stand out. And then on the lighter colours, oh, I think maybe that little, is it an S there? Um, so my eyesight's not brilliant. It is a little bit harder to read, but I do use my, my magnifying light because um, I can't see, so yeah. <laughs> and if you've got a light pad, you know, particularly with darker colours, I think it just helps you to see a little bit better. Okay, so let's have a look at these fantastic colours. Wow, we. Okay, so yeah, 24 different ones. They look like nice quality gems. They've certainly got a good sparkle to them. Okay, so let's start at number one. And we have this gorgeous purple colour, nice royal purple. And a nice cherry red and a sagey green. 
And a little bit deeper purple. And oh, look, two versions of hot pink, hot pink. Yay. Oh, is there another one further along as well then? Mm, we'll see. Uh, like a stony colour and a sort of orangey red. Oh, and a vibrant green. And that's like a burnt orangey colour. And a very purpley blue with a burnt orange escape here in there. Looks like it's wanted to join the blue party. And a burgundy colour. And a deep midnight blue. And a little bit of sagey green. Maybe a more of a mustardy yellowy green. And that's a dark grey colour. And that's a very dark green colour. And a russet colour. And a denimy blue. And a nice army green. And then that's like, again, a dark bluey purpley colour. And then the last few. Uh, oh, another dark blue colour. So these are all the sky. Is this sky all confetti then? Uh, oh, some of it is. The main part of it is all one colour, is all Ws. But it looks like some of it around the edges and particularly around the moon and here are all different colours, so not too much confetti on that bit. Uh, confetti is where you've got uh, a lot of colour changes in one little part of your diamond painting. Just means you keep having to change out which colour you're using. Uh, and then we've got like a rosy pink and a burgundy pink and another blue. And what's that one? That's a 3866, so it's a grey whitey colour. Okay pop these away so yeah great painting to do it's a little bit late possibly for this halloween but i say with uh, a lot of character ones it doesn't have to be just up for that time of year but, uh, particularly if it's in a put these away in a child's bedroom you know you could leave that up it's a nice picture of the moon Ooh, i love the hair look at that Whee! excellent okay so and what was the price of that one the price is at the moment on the website is five dollars and 79 cents okay so let's have a look at this one and see what we got with my rainbow scissors to match my rainbow little uh, places there. Yay! Ooh, this one looks fun. Okay. So, we have a 30 by 30. And it's a full drill. Ooh, go me, getting a couple of full drill paintings. <laughs> it's all the rainbows going to my head. Uh, oh, and it's in bags, this one. So this one's kitted itself up. I've got pen, butt and wax. Your standard little toolkit. And, oh, very nice. Oh, look at those colours. Ah, and this is a Christmas painting as well. So very different colours for Christmas. And look, it's a little Rudolph. <laughs> and it just really made me laugh. He's just sticking his head out and he's saying, hello. <laughs> Is that not just absolutely fabulous? It's like you're just taking a photograph of something and he's photo bombed you and just popped in and said, hello. And he's obviously been to a party or something because he's got a wreath around his neck. <laughs> he ought to have some tinsel hanging from his antlers, shouldn't he? <laughs> he's got his surprised eyebrows and saying, oh, hello. <laughs> Oh dear, it's fantastic. So it's a little 30 by 30. I do believe this comes in special drill as well. I thought I'd ordered special drill, but obviously not. Um, but that's fine. I don't mind. I can do either. It's very, very sweet. And it just really made me smile. And I love paintings that make me smile. And I think for a Christmas painting, although he's got his green and red on him, it's very different colours if you're not keen on your traditional Christmassy colours. Uh, we've got 16 different colours on him and they're all capital letters for the key code down here. Nice big key code as well, which always helps. And we've got DMC codes, again, nice big numbers there. Easy to read, but look at that expression. <laughs> 
uh, is that not just wonderful? Hello! <laughs> oh dear. Right, so the size of him is 24 centimetres, which is about nine and a half inches. By 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches. So yeah, you're just losing that little bit. Uh, but he will go nicely if you've got any of those um, magnetic photograph photograph frames, picture frames. The magnetic ones, the 30 by 30, just fits one of these paintings lovely. So he will probably go in there when I get him done. But yeah, I just thought it was a little bit different colour palette as well. And the price of this one was three pounds, uh, sorry, three dollars and 99 cents. Okay. Right, so let me have a look at these colours. Okay. It's uh, quite a bit, well, little bits of colour blocking, but it looks like mainly quite a few colour changes. You've got sort of smaller blocks of all the same colour, but yeah, but oh, I just love him. I just love the way just popping out the corner, you know, woo! <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. His expression is wonderful. Okay, so we have, oh, they're not quite in order, so let's see. So we've got uh, one is a burgundy colour and two is like a dark blue colour. That's number seven. That's number four and five are greeny colours. So we're looking for number three is like an orangey colour, tangerine colour. So that's three, four, five. And number six is a little bit deeper orange. Okay. And then up seven is your nice red colour. Oh, look, they're escaping out the top. Let me just uh, get them back in there. Get back in. No, I'm not going anywhere. So that's number nine. So we're looking for number eight now that's number 10 is a nice green color dark green and 11 oh that's going to be quite a bit of the background i think because that's a bit bigger back there and 12 is a contrasting sort of palish pinky well peach pinky color and 13 is like a burnt orangey color there's number eight look a pale pink eight and then nine ten okay and put them in order as we go in and then was that 13 14 is a lemony color again in the background uh 14 15 i can't even count now I tell you i shouldn't be left out left out on my own uh pale peachy color and then just a little bit of three eight six five so you have got the um number of the drill and the dmc number on there uh, we've got a weight on the bag and you've also got your um your canvas code on your bags as well so yeah if you lose one of your bags you just need to look for your canvas code and it's on there which is very very handy i will be putting labels on these as well before i put them away okay so that's one two three so let's have a look at what we got in the box what's in the box <laughs> right so this one is let's have a look let's have a look oh it wouldn't be christmas and it wouldn't be liz without one of these and it is a wreath look at that wow oh i absolutely love it i've not seen this one anywhere before to be honest i've not seen a huge amount of new wreaths this year uh, but there was so many last year, so yeah, quite possibly there was a lot kept out. So this one has just got a few uh, grip seal bags in it, as well as the pen, boat and wax. It's a light up wreath. So I think these take two AAA batteries. Okay, we've got some foam pads to pop it on the wall and also a nice chain. Oh, that is a nice chain. This is one of the posh chains. Oh, look at that. Very nice. But you could you wear that as a bracelet yeah, that's quite pretty <laughs> it's not your standard curb chain that one is it it's like uh, pretty links and it's got your really good lobster claw clasps on the end so these are really strong but they're also easier to use than jump rings and things like that 
and it just fastens through. But that's our drills, pop those there. It just fastens through the little pre drilled holes. We've got one there and one there, so they'll just go through and it will hang up. And this one is look at that, it is absolutely gorgeous. And we have a little blue tit here which is very, very pretty. These are our UK birds. And these are, I think they're called a great tit, the one with the black stripe down the uh, yellow tummy. So yeah, two different types there. We've got your poncettias, one at either side, lots and lots of holly berries. So these uh, little birds are gonna be absolutely full when they've eaten all these berries, goodness me. <laughs> And, oh, hang on a second. Ah, it's got holes all the way around. Hold your horses, Liz. Yeah, it's got a hole there. I was thinking that they were just for hanging it up, but no, we've got one there. We've got one there. So that's for putting your lights through. That's for running your little LED lights through as well. Oh, right. Okay, so you can either use your chain to hang it up or you can put your... Um, foam pads these tend to be a little bit sticky if you're putting them onto your walls or wallpaper so be very careful if you do use these because they may pull your paint off or they may tear your wallpaper you're better off with something like a command strip and um, that pulls off supposedly without harming your walls i've not had one that's harmed one of my walls yet but uh, you know it is glue and you never know but anyway that's what they say on the packet isn't it with command strips that they're not going to uh, pull your paint or pull your wallpaper off and as i say i've never had one ha it's happened to but you know i can't guarantee that it won't happen <laughs> total disclaimer here <laughs> and oh, i do think that's pretty though i think i'm gonna have to use it on its chain okay it just depends where you want to put them um, sometimes you don't want it dangling down somewhere. Sometimes you just want it sort of like stuck on a wall uh, and get the wall effect from behind. Just have a quick look at these uh, LED lights. Yeah, they're just the standard little, I think you can see on the wire. You just get like little tiny lights at uh, spaced intervals. So when you wrap them round, you just get a little bit of a glow. And as I say, they are battery operated and you've got an on-off switch. So they're easy to turn on and off. Um, I had a lot of them last Christmas. And when I switched them on, they were all really, really pretty. So I'm quite looking forward to having a few more up again. Okay, but this is absolutely lovely. And, yep, the the numbers are on the top of the acrylic they're not printed on the underside so that means that you're not going to get your skewed perspective i'm quite hot on that at the moment and um, so when you put your drill down it is usually on top of the number if you get it where you've got quite a thick acrylic and the number's printed underneath unless you work directly from the top you end up with well i drive myself mad because I tend to work on a side and when I put my drills down then I tend to find that I've not quite got them lined up. You really need to be working from above if you've got one where the, the uh, numbers are on the bottom but because this is on the top it's a lot more forgiving but yeah that is going to be so pretty with all those gems all those different sizes of your um I'm presuming there are larger red gems possibly for the berries but i will have a look and see but yeah i just liked it with the two british birds we do seem to get quite a few uh, that have cardinals and blue jays and things on and we don't have those in uh, the uk so i do like to try and look for ones that have just possibly got a robin on because they're fairly generic fairly fairly universal um, or as I say, these, this is a little blue tit and this is a great tit. They tend to be slightly bigger than a blue tit. And as I say, they do have this stripe down. I do know a, little, a few birds, not many. So let's have a look at the birds. So what do we have in here? Oh, have a look at those in a minute. Right. So we start off with a clear crystal and a lovely bright cherry red and that's like a sort of 
for quite a deepish peachy pink and a lovely goldy colour and that gorgeous green so these will all be the holly leaves which is your main colour and then a darker green for your shadow and highlights and then they'll be your blues on your little beds or oh, they'll be so pretty we do have just a few blue tits coming in the garden um, we've definitely got robins and depending on what food we put out we do get the little blue tits and they're only really tiny they're so pretty and they're very flighty though they don't come near you the robin will come quite close to you but uh, the little blue tits don't really like coming near you very skittish and fly off really quickly uh, that's like a bronzy colour there as well so let's have a look at the big ones okay oh we've got a little tiny bit of peach there so that's a very pretty colour, very subtle and a lovely green. So that's three greens we've got on all the holly leaves, which will just give them just a little bit of depth and shading. And then your berries. Yep, yeah, we've got some large, sorry, some very large uh, rounds without any facets on and some bit smaller rounds without facets on. So they're like a half sphere and yeah, very berry red, aren't they? When they're all on in clusters on your uh, projects, they really do look like berries and they really do shine. So yeah, that's my new Christmas wreath. It wouldn't be a Christmas in Lizzie's house without a lovely new wreath. I've got loads of them, but I just enjoy doing them so much. Okay, so we'll put those away too. Right, okay, so we have had a bit of Christmas with our gorgeous wreath and our lovely little photo bombing reindeer there. Absolutely gorgeous. He must be Rudolph, he's got a red nose. And our iconic three witches there with the moon in the background and it's full moon. And then our lovely little places there, our uh, straightener and our elbow placer and our single placer all in that gorgeous rainbow yay huge thank you to dp clubs for sending me these i absolutely love them i can't wait to get started on this one but i must get my halloween finish first and then i'll be on to christmas yay <laughs> Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these as much as I have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below, don't forget to uh, check out DP Club's website so that you can see what special offers and everything are on at the moment. There just seem to be quite a few. If you would like to join our little family, then all you need to do is subscribe and then you'll find out what happens next, <laughs> what we get up to next. Uh, there's a little subscribe button down here and all notifications bell will pop up and it'll just let you know when I upload a new video. It'll just put a little notification when you log on to your tube. Say, Liz uploaded a video. Do you want to come and have a look? And hopefully you'll say yay. <laughs> okay, well, that's me done for now. So thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>